Welcome to a, another episode of Claire Hair. Today we're going to be doing a special Bridgerton edition and I have my Charlotte twin moles here, the twin beauty marks. We're going to be talking about a couple of different topics today. The first topic is going to be about uh, my overall reaction to the trailer, the elegant hairstyles I expect to see, the impact of Queen Charlotte over time, and of course my final thoughts about everything. So First off, <laughs> I couldn't resist, sorry. But um, first off, the, ep the like, watching the trailer, because it's always nerve-wracking whenever you watch a new episode of, like, a new um, season of a uh, series that you're already watching. Watching the trailer, I was like, they bring the magic every single time. You know me, I love a Enemies to Lovers. It's my favorite books to read and write. I write on a low. But it's my favorite book and uh, it's my favorite genre. So like to see like that, I was just so excited to see that they can bring the same passion, just mid passion, just mid passion. I just love saying it. Um, but my overall reaction, I think the casting director was in his bag. I don't know if the eviction notice was on the door, but they were in their bag on that one. I really feel like they did a really good job about, I feel like they did a really good job in um choosing like oh my god so like I, i've never seen a casting i haven't seen casting this this good since um the two-pack biopic that we don't like but um the casting is almost like identical like you know even down to the mold they even got the beauty marks correctly in doing the casting also i feel like just, I'm just ready for the hairstyles. Like, honestly, like, I know it's about, I know it's about the impact, but I'm just ready for the hairstyles because Queen Charlotte, you know, in the earlier, like, Queen Charlotte, you know, future Queen Charlotte that we, that we're used to, um, her hairstyles always are top tier on point. Me, I just did my halfway tutorials right there and I just flipped it up. But honestly, like, her hairstyles are part of her brand. to our elegant hairstyles portion so we're gonna be talking about um first off what are we expecting to see i'm expecting to see actually a lot more i'm expecting to see like a lot less experimental hair textures because i feel like you know once you've been at a job or a place for a while like you can like really show like you can really do like whatever hair texture you want but i feel like when charlotte first came to the throne like she's already of a certain demographic so she can't really rock the boat too much and um, I really expect to see like a lot of traditional hairstyles, like a lot of um, traditional hair textures. Um, I also expect to see um, very little to no makeup because like she's coming in saying, I don't even want to be here. Hoist me over this, <laughs> hoist me over this wall. <laughs> and I, um, I don't expect to see a lot of makeup. It was actually, it was actually a nice little break for me that I didn't have to put hella makeup on today. I think I just put, I think I would just put like some bronzer on my cheeks and then I put lip gloss on. <laughs> like, like her look is so natural. I didn't have to put lashes on because child boo, like putting some lashes on, nah. But like little to no makeup, I feel like that makes her look even more youthful. So I'm I expecting to see no little to no makeup. Um, I'm not expecting to see any colors. Um, I feel like the future Miss Charlotte, I feel like she had um, a lot of experimentation. Like I think even in the picture that I saw, I think it was like a lavender pink or blue or something. But I don't expect to see a lot of colors or different, you know, Anything that's not traditional, because you gotta understand, like you're already coming in rocking the boat. It's kind of like when um, people were just like, "Oh, how come Michelle Obama is giving us micro? She's giving us afro. She's giving us curly texture. She's giving us this." I was like, she kind of had to. Like you just can't come in there. No offense. Like I said, like I'm all for it, but 
You can't, you just can't come in there. I want you to see my cape. You just can't come in there already rocking the boat. You're already rocking the boat. Does that make any sense? Like you're already rocking the boat. So you just can't come in there rocking the boat. So I feel like a lot, um, I feel like a lot of, um, I don't expect to see a lot of natural hair textures. I think there was this one Afro like style that she did. Um, I believe in season one with the yellow dress. I remember it. That's how nice it was. Um, and it was just, you can tell it's type four. And like, I know a lot of people will sit there and say, oh my God, it's making it. It was like, yes, it does. Because low key is like a hidden, I want to say a hidden secret, but I would say it's like a hidden rule that if you're going to come with natural hair, it's got to be curls, not coils. Okay. Like you just got to just sit in there like, what do you mean by that? But like it, that, I, I know what I'm trying to say. Like it's got to be curls, not coils. Like it's a big difference. So, um, I don't expect to see a lot of type four wigs or whatever, but I think one of my bigger questions is like, what was one of y'all favorite hairstyles? I already know my favorite one. Okay. But like, which one, like which Queen Charlotte look that you saw? You're like, damn, like she's messy but she got style, okay? But um, I don't expect to see faux locks. I don't expect to see braids of any type, you know? Um, uh, I just, I don't know. I'm just excited to see the new um, hairstyles that they have planned. Also the hairstyles for Queen Charlotte, like the hairstylist, the wigologist, you know? <laughs> um, they're in their bag once again. Like, let me know if y'all teaching a class so I can perfect my craft, but... I can definitely say like they, like they don't miss, not a hair out of line. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, I feel like with hair, like with Queen Charlotte, like I said, I didn't really know a lot about her. She wasn't really like somebody that we stayed on in the history books, okay? She wasn't one person that we were just like doing the whole history report on, but they kind of skipped over her in social study class. But like just going back and seeing like she really was out there by herself like that's why even with even with the photos of even with the photos like I know a lot of there's not a lot of pictures of Queen Charlotte smiling even in the series and in, you know in real life historically and I was like there was nothing funny about you coming in there being the only person of your kind it's not like you're like an alien species but being the only person of your kind and like you're still trying to be true to yourself because I'm pretty sure like I don't know if they have it like in the roster but I'm pretty sure that they had to um, I can see it where there was a lot of pushback for the hairstyles that she chose. And even now, like, you know, with her being the queen, like, I'm pretty sure there's still like a couple of side eyes that they do mentally. Um, but this is this the Bridgerton universe, but I'm talking about like in real life, like I can tell, like, there was like a lot of side eyes, like, is she walking around with hair that's not straight? We don't like that. <laughs> so we don't like that. Um, but no, like I'm, I'm really excited for, I'm really excited for the newer season of, um, Bridgerton. Um, I think what my con would be is that, um, I think my con would be this is that like so many people don't want to take Bridgerton for what it is. Like I said, it is fiction. Okay. Like, like there's some accuracies, like even down to like it, uh, being in the Regency era. Like I know a lot of people were, I'm pushing them back about like the accents not really Regency. It's not on point. No, no. Harden. <laughs> Sorry. That that ever after movie threw me off. But um, but no, it's like they they really are really passionate about it, which I understand, but not all of us read the books. I can definitely raise my hand and say I didn't read the books, and that's not me being mean or anything, but I didn't read the books. Um, so for us people who are now coming into it, let us enjoy things, okay? <laughs> Like, I know that sounds mean, but I'm just like, let us enjoy things because people have this tendency where um, they're, they want to feel so special and everybody's special, but like they want to feel so special where they're just like, that's not how um, Queen Charlotte's hair looked like in the book. I was like, we're here for the hairstyles. Like, I want to do my official clear hair report and reaction next Monday after I watch the whole series in one weekend. I literally have a uh, couple of hours. I want to say it's like, it's, is it eight episodes? So that's eight hours. I have eight hours blocked off. I'm going to spread out through the week so I can have this done and watched by Monday and be able to do a review for you guys. Because like I said, like, I just, I don't know. It's just a nice break from reality. Because like I said, like, you know, we out here millennials and, you know, 
the biggest hustle generation out there. We have multiple jobs. Like, look at me, you know, accounting during the day, um, natural hair slash cosplay slash hey, help me slash, you know. So it's just like, it's a nice little break. And like I said, like the Regency romanticism is just so, it's so charming. Like, it's not, hey, you want to go for a rock later? It's like, shall we promenade in the moonlight of the sun as it lights and illuminates your face? Oh my God. Like, that's so beautiful. <laughs> like, not know what you're doing. It's, shall we promenade? Lord? So I can count the days that we are not together or near each other anymore. Like, come on. How do you not like that? Bridgerton haters, but... Um, no, I really do like, um, even from, I did my Queen Charlotte episode of like a review of all her hairstyles. Um, I really do like that, like she, like each, each season, like I can see that, like she's getting a little bit more comfortable. I don't know if it's the hairstylist, I don't know if it's the director, but I'm seeing pinks. I saw the lavender one. Come on now. Hey, the periwinkle blue wig. Come on. <laughs> it's like, come on. Um, but definitely stay tuned and also... Uh, make sure you check out my May the 4th episode. May the 4th is um, National Star Wars Day as well as National Bridgerton Day. So it's going to be a nice duo there. But don't forget to subscribe, share. It's Lady Claire here.